Hey guys, uh, this is Ranjan. Today I'm going to show you how to install the GNS3 in your um, computer. Uh, what you can do with GNS3 is um, you can uh, emulate Cisco IOC match if you are doing for uh, to achieving certification like CCNA, CCNP, uh, even CCIE. But, um, uh, it's completely free. It's uh, uh, even if you are in mm, customer service, even a system a network administrator, uh, they want to implement some kind of solution on real network. Before I'll strongly mm, mm, recommend that before implementing, mm, uh, you test your scenario on GNS3. So you, mm, you get the idea. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to GNS3 website which is GNS3.net uh, uh, as you can see uh, then just follow the step that the download uh, then GNS3 you can run on Windows machine even Linux machine uh, if you have if you are good in Linux, I will recommend you to do on Linux because mm, on Linux really you can do much many stuff on GNS3 like if you are plan uh, doing your CCIE uh, lab preparation G um, there is no alternative mm, mm, than Linux doing GNS3 on Linux so mm, pretty much everything you can do on uh, uh, Linux box if you are running GNS3 so uh, um, here it is uh, as you can see GNS3 version 7.3 all in one. Uh, you can just go ahead and download it. Uh, as you can see, this package is included Dynamic, Schema, Pimo, uh, Party, and WinPap. Mm, Party it's, uh, is the Talnet um, like kind of uh, application where uh, you can Talnet into your router. Um, Kimu, Pemu, you will be going to use it if you are into Juniper or if you wanted to emulate an ASA on GNS3. Uh, by the way, uh, I already have downloaded this, so I'm going to just minimize this for, for now. I'm going to open my computer and run this application. Yes, I'm going to, as you know, this is Windows, so everything. Okay, agree, next. Um, uh, here where you can select all the, I'll recommend you to have the default settings, so let's go ahead and here where the path is, uh, as I'm running 64-bit Windows. Uh, my path is x86 mm, install okay that's fine with me finish alright now I'm gonna just go ahead and start the program as you can see GNS3 GNS3 alright yes Okay, uh, don't worry about all this. Uh, I'm going to explain you how to. This is to put your iOS image on, on a directory. Uh, I'm just going to do OK for now. Let me maximize this. Okay, now what you'll have to do to is go to Edit, uh, Preference, uh, then Dynamics, then just test your path that uh, by default everything should be okay. You don't want to. Uh, rush into anything just test the path if you are um, the testing is successful that means your genus 3 working perfect uh, the path itself is perfect so I'm gonna just apply okay and now uh, as you can see on the left side there's um, many router series Cisco router series fixed wire walls as a Juniper router Ethernet switch by the way this Ethernet switch is not manageable just in uh, uh, layer 2, uh, you can set just a normal basic switch. Um, frame relay switch also same, then you can just do the basic stuff. Well, mm, well now uh, what I all basically do is uh, I, I always um, prefer this CD job router because I have got the iOS image which is um, running pretty, pretty much ok with me and it has got almost all features what I wanted to test it. this is 12.4 iOS image I'm going to upload it right right now alright to do that you'll have to have go to edit mm, iOS images and hyper resource fine then you're going to select the path where you kept your iOS image file I'm going to just show the image file browse the path then I have 
for me I kept it on my desktop so I'm gonna select um, desktop <clears throat> here it is IOC match 3750 24 uh, select the path open as you can see it's already now uh, this is the default RAM what it comes if you want you can go ahead and increase it to uh, something else okay for now I'm gonna save it as you can see as soon as I hit the save button you can see the path is already in the, in the the path recognizes itself okay I'm gonna close it now so uh, if you can see um, if I'm going to drag a um, router from the left side like this is called um, 1700 series uh, it will give me a uh, message that the no image platform because I have not have uh, an image for that series of router even 26 26 90 36 um, but I do have an image for 3700 series so I'm going to just drive one of them as you can see this is showing as a router or two it should be router one because uh, one more instance is running for for, for that it's just showing router two so um, okay uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one more. I, I love routers, you know. They are really best thing. Well, now as you can see, two two routers, which is R2 and R3. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and change the host name. Hmm. As you can see from here, change host name. You can just change the host name. And that's it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to link these two, two router. Uh, uh, Pair to pair. Okay, here it is all interface where you can select that interface. You can select manual or first data because since I'm going to use the first data, I'll just select the first. If you have serial interface, you can select serial interface. Well, I'm just going to select first inter interface. Now, what I have it is first interface the patch cable. You can say uh, I'm not sure whether it is cat six or cat five. Anyway, I'm going to just connect it uh, from hold on why okay all right so here it is uh, but as you can see it doesn't give me which interface I'm connecting it to but if you if you select it manual mode uh, no, I think you can you can select uh, which interface you want it to connect to however if you want to see right now which interface I have connected there you can just press this the button uh, it just shows that, that the first Ethernet 0 slash 0 both sets are connected to. Uh, Alright, now um, uh, there are nodes. If you want to bring the nodes, uh, let's say you want to have some IP addressing scheme, you can just have uh, any IP address or so whatever you like. For, for instance, I'll just say uh, 10.1.1.1.1. So that means uh, in this interface, I'm going to use this IP address. On that interface, I'm going to use um, uh, this IP address. So honestly, if, uh, if you are doing some testing, GNS3 is the best uh, uh, to graphically emulate the Cisco IOS images. So anyway, um, I have my information. If you want, if you can you can go ahead and have the explanatory uh, um, explanation of all. Um, your diagrams, uh, um, um, what not, you know. So, um, here it is. I'm just gonna run all two routers at the same time. So, if you if you press this button, it will run all the, all the routers at the same time. Um, even you can go ahead on right click on the router and just start press the start button. If you activate, oh, if you run all the routers at the same time, it's gonna take some time. Especially if you are doing a CCIE lab where you have um, 13 to 16 routers at the same time running, so it's going to take a pretty much long time. And it's depend on the your computer. If you have, if you are running it on a quad core machine with a 4 GB or 8 GB memory, I I hope uh, uh, it will be more faster. And if you are running it on Linux, and um, uh, it will definitely give you better performance than Windows. Uh, so it is as you can see both lights mm, on the link are green that means that the link is uh, up the physical connection is there now I'm going to just console to them so you can uh, one by one you can console it to them or if if and you can just go ahead uh, console to them mm, simultaneously as you can see two windows coming up party this is the telnet tel that I was talking about you see the party application is running mm. now um, 
I'm just gonna hit enter it's asking for default information but um, I'll just say no uh, the same thing for the other one all right so the, the router is booting up as you can see uh, this is my uh, as you can see this is R2 and this is R3 uh, this is really a very basic uh, what I'm gonna just do and assign an IP address on first Ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, the IP address that I have I was given is uh, 10 sorry uh, it's 10.1.1.1 .1 .1. I'm gonna use just uh, uh, slash 8 IP address okay uh, soft and much sorry uh, I'm just gonna say no shot that's it um, similarly I'm just gonna go to R3 and do the same thing uh, assign the IP address I just want to show you that that how beautiful it is uh, I mean as compared there is as compared to real hardware so mm, here it is I'm just going to assign that address mm, it's really difficult when you uh, do things and talk but never mind mm, maybe it will improve so no shot well as you can see that the, the interface will be up now um, show IP interface brief show IP interface brief okay as you can see the first Ethernet 0 slash 0 the IP address mana status up and up okay let us do the testing ping 10.1.1 okay we are successfully pinging the connection okay guys uh, that's it I hope all um, that's it uh, we'll try to make some more uh, for now thank you for watching